beautiful Taurus. Welcome to the Oracle of Lilith. My name's Amy, and I'm so glad you're here today. If this is your first time to my channel, hi, hello, how are you? It's so good to have you here. I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, hey guys, what's up? How are you doing? I appreciate you being here. I love and adore connecting with your energy. Uh, it's amazing. So you're amazing, Taurus. If no one's told you lately, you're amazing. We love you and we appreciate you. So keep in mind this is a general reading. This is a general session for sun, moon, rising, Venus, northern node, Taurus. Okay, so it's a general reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. I do offer personal and private readings. All that information will be down in my description box below. So, okay, so July 2021. Taurus, let's do love, shall we? Okay, I'm feeling like drawing from the, uh, we got the victory card there, you guys see? Um, I'll be drawing from the Art Nouveau Golden Tarot, Golden Art Nouveau Tarot. Okay, what's coming in love for Taurus for July 2021? Let's see here. Whoa, those didn't even want to come together. What's up? Okay, here we go. <laughs> All right. I'm kind of rough with my cards, I guess, compared to other, um, to other readers, but uh, I, find I have a lot of energy in these cards, so. Okay, I'm feeling that one. This one in love, 20, 21, July, 2021. Okay, now then, I'm going to get a couple of romance um, angels. Let me shuffle these up for Taurus. Taurus, 2021, July. Okay. Oh. I'm feeling like I need to get one more. Messages. Okay. Woo. Okay. I'm not taking all these. I'm going to take that one. Okay, and I'm going to get one from the Lover's Oracle as well. Love, Taurus, July 2021. Okay. Whoa! I guess it's that one. <laughs> okay, let's see what's going on in love. Okay, we have the Four of Swords. We have the Four of Wands, so 44 is going to be a number of alignment. We have the Two of Wands, we have the Moon, and we have the Five of, <laughs> five of Swords, you guys. Okay. All right, let's look at some more energy here. Surrender. At times, we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go, and all will work out. Okay. I feel like you're trying to manifest something in love here. Uh, let your friends help you. Uh, that's come out a lot for today. I've been doing all the horoscope while finishing it up for July. And this card has come out a lot. Let your friends help you. Ask and accept support from others. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So there may be some things you need to let go. Okay, if you're in a relationship, there may be some things you need to let go of. And um, kind of just surrender to the flow within your relationship. If you're a single target, I feel like uh, I'm feeling this five of, five of swords energy. I feel like maybe you've been fighting for love. You've been looking for love. And you maybe you've been feel defeated or rejected somehow. All right. Sorry about that. My phone did something weird. And now the camera is different. So I'm sorry. But it happens. All right. So I want to get some clarity about this five of swords and this moon energy. The moon can also be about deception. So Taurus, you may feel like uh, you maybe you've been deceived in the past if you're in a relationship and um, or your person you with you're with has been deceived in the past and they're having they're having a lot of issues with trust okay and I feel like your energy is very healing to your person. Uh, just understand that they're learning to surrender so they can trust you. Okay, and it's really not a reflection of you. I don't think Taurus has done anything, and if this is your person, I don't think your person's really done anything. I think this just is the sum of their past, uh, li their past 
situations in their lives, you know. It also could be, interestingly, it could be a manifestation of a past life you guys have had together where maybe one of you uh, betrayed another. Maybe there's been a lot of betrayals or a lot of energy of, uh, you know, I feel like there's a lot of energy of giving someone over or giving someone up. Um, yeah, okay, that's past life energy though. So let's focus on the now, shall we? Let's get some, let's get some clarity. Give me some clarity on this Five of Swords. King of Cups, okay. All right, moving on. Okay, I feel like, I feel like that this is not, this block or this situation that's going on with your person or with you, it's temporary, okay? They're going to find that the love that you two have for each other is going to overcome this insecurity about trust, okay? And you guys are going to be able to move on. It doesn't mean that you won't have some swords. So it doesn't mean that there won't be some issues, okay? It doesn't mean that there won't be some problems. It just means that, you know, uh, they're, they've grown, they're growing to trust you, sorry, and they're growing to the point where they're ready to move forward into a deeper level of connection with Taurus, okay? This could be you, Taurus, or this could be your person. It just really depends, okay? All right, I want to get some clarity on the four of wands here. This is happiness. This is something you want. All right, <laughs> we have the king of uh, wands here. So, uh... Yeah, let's keep going. I like that energy. That's confident, um, knowing, charismatic, happy, happy energy. I'm going to go ahead and take all of them. World, the Queen of Swords. Okay, Taurus, this may be um, this may be an air sign that we're talking about. The, um, the Queen of Swords is uh, like Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy. So you may be finding happiness with an air sign. You may be dealing with an air sign who has trust issues. Um, also water. So air, water, earth, fire is what I'm feeling. Earth, fire with the Taurus energy. So Taurus, you may have some fire in your chart with this King of Wands energy. And uh, your person may be an air sign or water sign or have a lot of both in their chart. Uh, but we have the Queen of Pentacles here. So I feel like this connection is very stable, okay? Um, and if you're a single Taurus, you're going to have a very stable connection with like a queen of, uh, this energy feels like a mix of the queen of swords and the queen, the king of wands. It's romantic. I feel a strong romantic connection that feels like the world here. So it feels like this person is, um, your whole world. It's a wish fulfillment. I feel like for many of you, this person feels like you're a dream, like they dreamed you up, or you may feel like you dreamed them up. And it's a really beautiful energy to share with somebody because it feels like wish fulfillment, like they're a wish come true. That's a beautiful energy to share with people. But it's really important that you connect with um, your friends here. They'll help you uh, with this energy because, you know, it doesn't feel good to have the person that you love not trust you, especially when you haven't done anything. and um, Really, it's just a process of going deeper with this energy, all right? And be patient. But patience is your specialty, Tara. You really do have a lot of patience. Even with all that fire, you're more patient than most. And um, I think that you make your person feel safe. So that's really, that's a beautiful thing to give your person. So let's see what Taurus is manifesting in July 2021 in uh, career and money. So let's see. First, I'm going to get some numbers for you guys. Let's get some numbers for Taurus. Numbers of alignment, lucky numbers, that kind of thing. All right. What do we got here? We got two threes and two twos. Okay. So uh, twos and threes are going to be numbers of alignment for you. Lucky numbers. Pay attention when you see repeating twos and repeating threes. Okay. All right. Let's, um, I'm feeling this Nightmare Before Christmas deck as well. All right, career and money for Taurus. Career and money for Taurus. July 2021. Okay. Well, we're going to take that when it popped out. So, all right. Career and money for Taurus. Woo! 
a lot of needles. Okay, we get one more. There's two. Okay, there we go. All right, I'm gonna put this over here. And what else am I drawing? We're gonna draw from the uh, Spirit Animal Oracle. These cards are big. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Ah, okay. All right. I'm going to take this one. I'm also going to take one from the Light Oracle. Okay. I'm going to take that one. And I'm going to get one more from the Divine Feminine Oracle. I feel like there's a lot of Divine Feminine energy coming around Taurus. Uh, this could be your guides coming through. This could be a feminine God form. It just depends on your paradigm. This could be ancestors in your bloodline coming forward as well to help guide you on your career and money. Woo! Okay, let's try it again. One card. July 2021, 20, career and money. Okay. Woo! All right. <laughs> okay, let's go through the tarot first and see what we got going on. Okay, we have the one, two, three, four, four five of potions, five of cups. We have the chariot. We have the, I think this is nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine of potions. That's really good. That's really good. Uh, the page of candles. And we have the seven of needles. Okay. Seven of swords. Seven of swords energy. Okay. And we have the, what did I say? Five of potions as well. So, and the six of needles. Okay. We have the page of candles, we have the chariot, and we have the nine of potions. Okay, so I'm feeling like there's a lot of worry going on in for career and money. You may feel confusion, you may not know how to move through this. And it's really important that you focus on what you have. Uh, I'm feeling with the page of candles, there's a new clarity or uh, idea about work how to make money that's going to come through and it's actually going to make you really successful okay but you're going to have to follow through on it Taurus and it may take a bit for you to work it out but I think in July you're going to get the clarity that you've been needing on how to move forward and what you want to do and uh, for many of you what's going on with you is um, is you're persevering, you're pushing through, okay? And that can be really difficult. But on the other side of this is a lot of uh, fulfillment in what you do, independence. Um, there's a lot of, uh, of uh, I'm feeling victory here with the chariot. The chariot has come out quite a few times today. And I'm feeling with the chariot that, um, you know, the chariot really is about the conquering hero coming coming home and riding in their big chariot and being like, yeah, I won the war. I won the, you know, I'm feeling that here. I'm feeling balance and motion, motion coming through. Um, with this page of candles here, I want to, I want to clarify the page of candles because I feel like that, this is the moment when you are able to shift things in your career and money. Okay. We have the two of needles. We have the ten of presents. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, so a pathway is going to be made for you to get your money with the Ten of Presents here. This is about money that will help your family. This could be a big foundational kind of thing. This could also be enough money to take care of your responsibilities um, and help get you through as you move towards this Nine of Potions and the Chariot here. There's a way being made for you, okay? I'm going to get some more clarity filling this card here. The Ten of Presents is the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, we have the four or five, six, the uh, seven of needles here. So many of you may not, eight of needles. So many of you may not see your way. That's six and this is seven. I'm sorry. I'm, um, 
many of you may not see your way out of this. You may be in your head about your money and your career and may feel confused. Many of you may have like some health problems. You may have a lot of headaches or stomach aches. Um, and it's really important, Taurus, for you not to stay in that energy too much. It feels like anxiety and fear. Don't let that block you. Uh, just because you have fear doesn't mean it stops you, right? You go forward in the face of fear. And that's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like perseverance onto something and not giving up until you find a way to get to this nine of potions and the chariot here. All right, so let's get some advice on um, how to make this happen. Okay, so how do we get to this ten of presents decision? I'm feeling it with the two of swords, two of needles. I feel like there's a need here to go within, uh, connect with your intuition, connect with the emotions, connect with what makes you happy, what's going to give you a fulfilling career uh, for money. How can you make money the different ways? I feel like you need to be open to multiple streams of money, making, making money in different ways. And um, yeah. This feels big for a lot of Tauruses. This feels like big energy of manifestation. I feel like July is going to be a, a month where you put in the manifestations for, for this Nine of Potions. Nine of Potions is about being happy and fulfilled in what you do. Okay? Um, yeah, it's beautiful energy. Okay, watch your words. So, speak positivity into your life. Speak positively when you speak to others around you. There may be an opportunity that's very close in your energetic field, and it's important that you project to others possibility. Um, don't hide your talents and abilities, no matter what it is, and um, be open. Surrender now. Yeah, there's an energy coming with this decision that is really going to relieve these uh, intense thoughts you have that may be blocking it. And there'll be an energy of you just got to kind of, you got to, I can't talk. You kind of got to just let it happen. Okay, you got to go with the flow. Taurus is good at go with the flow though. You know, once you can get out of this nervous energy, uh, it won't be super fast. Okay, so it won't overwhelm you. All right, time to let go. Yeah, surrender now, time to let go, watch your words. So there are thought processes that you need to let go of. There are thoughts about yourself not being a talent enough, not being um, professional enough, not having enough training, those kind of things. you got to let go of that negative thought. If you think you need more training, then go get some. It's time for action, Taurus. I know that um, when Taurus moves, a lot of times it's really, it's really slow. But once they have worked it out in their head, they've planned, they've figured it out how they want to do it, it's a power move, okay? And I'm feeling a power move coming for Taurus in July 2021. It could be the power move is you just get out of this uh, self-defeating cycle of blocking yourself with negative thoughts and negative and putting negative words out there, okay? So that's a beautiful energy. I want to move into uh, what spirit has to say, what's going on with health, any advice for mental health. Health, emotional health, you know, and if you're having issues, please seek professional help, okay? I am not a therapist nor a doctor, so yeah. Okay, what's going on? What other messages do we have for, um, I'm picking up on some spiritual energy here as well. All right. Okay, what do we want to do? We're going to the Halloween Oracle. Okay. Oops. <laughs> All right. Uh. Okay. Spirit, what do we want? What do we have for Taurus? Spirit, what do we have for Taurus? What's manifesting in July 2021 for Taurus? What's manifesting for July 2021 for Taurus? I'm going to take those three cards. I'm going to do kind of an oracle type reading here. What is manifesting for sp in spirit, mental health, emotional, physical advice from spirit? Okay. I'm feeling a paradigm shifting. I feel like there's some kind of awareness that's coming through 
for Taurus. That's really going to give you so much clarity. Whoa. Okay. We'll take these two. You know what? I'm going to take I'm going to take all these. I'm not going to take this one actually. I'm not really feeling called to this one. So, these are what I'm going to take. Okay, let's see. Um I'm going to get a moonology. I haven't pulled many moonology today, so all right. Three cards for Taurus, advice from spirit. All right. Three cards, please, for Taurus. Woo! Let's take those two. Can I have one more, please? All right. Let me, let me do this. All right. We have blind spots. We have wise seeing, wise action, owl. We have ghost regret. Okay, we're going to go ahead and move into monology. A new start is coming. Time to release negativity. T time to breathe out. Okay. There's either a feeling of guilt here or regret. There's some kind of negative energy that you need to be releasing, and you will be in July. All paths lead home. Surrender to the sweetness. Well, and orca elder. Share your song. Frequency of sound, diving deep. Okay. All right. So I'm going to approach these cards right here. I feel like for many of you, this has to do with uh, your job. Okay. Your career, how you make money. There is something going on around you that you can't see, but something wonderful is manifesting. Okay. A new start. All paths lead home, inner authority, intuition. Turn your gaze within. I feel like you're going to know. When this, when this approaches you, okay? You're going to know, you're going to feel it. And um, I think you're going to be really happy with how this manifests. I also feel like um, for many of you, spirit is going to come through and reveal this blind spot to you. And you're going to get guided to this new start, okay? So, all right, let's see what else we got here. We have um, wise seeing, wise action. It's time to release negativity. Surrender to the sweetness. Venus energy, pleasure, joy, make love to life. I feel like Taurus is really desiring to be in this energy. This energy of being clear of all the negative thoughts and blocks. And um, just, I feel like there may have been some confusion for Taurus for a little bit. And I feel like that's clearing up. And you're going to know. There's focus here. This is Taurus getting on Taurus's game. Okay. This focus. See these eyes? I want you to see that. Yeah, uh, this is you really getting focused in, in July 2021 and knowing what you want. I think you're releasing something, full moon in Scorpio here, you're releasing something that has probably been blocking you for a long time from doing what you want in your area of career and money. I feel like for many of you, this is guides coming through again. They're sending you a lot of love. They're sending you um, a lot of healing energy. Uh, they want you to be happy. It's time for Taurus to be happy, okay? We have ghost regret. Okay, this is a block. Anytime you feel a lot of regret, grief, remorse, that that energy of, that energy is, I'm sorry, I have, I have bugs in my house, I guess. Okay, <laughs> it's hot outside. I live by a field, so it's so annoying. Um, I feel like this energy here that many Tauruses are carrying is blocking you from being able to manifest the kind of life that you want. You have to know and own the fact that you deserve it, Taurus. You deserve it because you are. You've been through a lot. I feel like a lot of you are really talented. And it's time for you to, you know, step up. You know, show the world. Be bold. Be brave. Show people your talent, whatever it is. It, whatever this is, you need to be bold about it. Release your negative thoughts, okay? Because a new start is coming and spirit is on your side, all right? Uh, you may be done with a lot of anxiety and um, release that. How can we release that? Well, you can release it creatively, like um, if you play an instrument or you write or you play video games or things like that. Um, those mental outlets for your mind, reading, things like that, can really help 
a Taurus get clear of this energy. You know, a lot, for a lot of people, I'm getting like coloring, adult coloring or drawing, painting, those kind of things can really help set a Taurus's soul free because Taurus at its heart is creative. There's a lot of creative energy and a lot of it, it seems to be like coming, I'm feeling it coming from the heart chakra. So this is really connected expressions, all right? And um, I'm feeling like, uh, there's a lot of healing coming through for this regret because there's an understanding in July that's coming forward that you are where you are because this is your unique path and you cannot compare yourself to anyone else, okay? Uh, because anyone who had walked your path, they may not be where you are. They may actually have a worse what you might perceive as a worse situation. Uh, you're doing really well for everything you've been through. And it's just time, you know, everyone blooms at different times. And I feel like this is Taurus coming into their own power, getting focus, releasing regret, releasing negativity, taking a time to breathe. I think it's really important that you rest, Taurus. Uh, I think things are gonna speed up for you. They may be speeding up for you now. And uh, be sure to take care of yourself, all right? There there is something here about music and frequency, so be sure to, uh, I do have a powerful meditations list, um, and a lot of those have helped me over the last couple of years. You might check it out. There's a lot of healing frequencies there. I feel like you listening to music and relaxing, uh, maybe while you're, uh, whatever creativity you like to do, or mental work, like mental busy work, and I mean like video games, not that it's busy work, but it keeps that anxiety in our brains, kind of Taurus brains, uh, minds <laughs> under control. Like we're a place where you can deal with the anxiety without feeling like you're always on the edge of just losing it and getting angry. Okay. All right, Taurus, that's what I got for you for July of 2021. I hope this resonated. If it did or it didn't, please leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I love to hear from you guys. I hope you have a beautiful July and I will see you next time. Bye guys.